Attention. Beautifully done. Just waited for enough space. Yeah, they've had a lot to cheer of late. It's the shot. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to be playing too many drop shots on a hard court oh. when you're behind the baseline. 40-30. New slimline Marty Fish is going to get them off. Masters 1000 events. That's a lovely show. Yeah, I guess when you look at the tournaments that he's won. Not an easy volley to play this one. 14-15. It's great length from the penultimate shot. Can you see who? 15 now. the course of the game to get himself get to break point. Such a lot of for Much better points. Controlled aggression. Choose
using precise. Égalité, Dieu. Bit easier for him off the backhand, doesn't it? And. Earlier, 14, 15. And really, this is a shot to nothing when you're 40 love down. Sweetly timed. Ooh, great return. Wasn't quite accurate enough there, was it? Not enough width. Right in the hitting zone, you can see there. Drop shot had to be that good. Great service game in the end from Fish. Oh, oh that's a wonderful shot. Backhand is a world class shot, no doubt about it. Going in. Oh. What? It's when you're confident and you're playing well, these things happen. You get a little bit of luck. He's falling backwards. Timing's got to be good. So deep, just doesn't give Djokovic time on the ball there, and no angle as well. So good with that open stance, just plants that left foot. Stability. In my mind.
to forehand like that on the big points earlier on in the match. Every time uh, if you want to that he got break points in the opening set, he went for a shot like that. But, uh, wasn't able to time it anyway. It's a lovely volley. Uh, he might create uh, more history this afternoon, attempting to become the first uh, newly crowned world number one to win his very 93. Oh, what a shot! So strong. Digs it. A move he does it decisively, and it's the ability to. Djokovic wins, and in doing so, creates a little bit of history. Becomes the first man ever to win five Masters Series 1000 titles in a single season. It's the tenth of his career and the ninth title of a simply sensational when he's playing well. Uh, it was probably one of the highlights for me. Joe Wilford Songer, of course, and then uh, Ivan Dodik defeating uh, Rafael Nadal. I've got a lot of pleasure watching uh, uh, Kevin Anderson as well defeat Andy Murray early on in the tournament. So it was good to see uh, some of uh, the challenges to players, obviously. Yeah. And when they've been playing their very best tennis, you know, during some of their best runs, and it's always difficult to live with. But I think uh, Djokovic certainly elevated the level of his game in the deciding set. He served particularly.